everybody, welcome to this playthrough of Kenshi. Uh, I am very excited to play this game on the show again. I used to stream this back in 2013, when the game first released in Early Access. Um, so I guess I've been playing this game off and on for like five and a half, six years now, something like that. Uh, I recently caught up on all the new stuff in the game, which is great. Uh, so we're live streaming this. Uh, don't worry, my webcam and the chat's not going to cover anything important. I already checked. We're going to be not save scumming. I don't like save scumming. The only time we'll reload a save is like if it's a party wipe, basically. Um, but we're going to be doing new game and we're going to be choosing Wanderer. We're probably going to make outposts at some point, our own little villages and everything, but that can come later. I want to start in like the just the regular old base way and build my team up from there. So I, a lot of people in the chat were asking like, what's this game all about? I feel like you're gonna pretty naturally see what this game is. I don't feel like I need to do a big explanation, but it's a really cool RPG where it's desert samurais. That's the best way to explain it. And uh, yeah, I think you'll pretty clearly understand everything that's going on as we go. If anyone has questions as we go, as you see things, you want clarification, feel free to ask me. I'm no master of the game or anything, but you know, I've been around since basically the beginning. So I can tell you generally how the thing goes. Uh, we're gonna be, so this is starting with a hundred cats, I believe is the currency, not literal now cats, C-A-T-Z, I believe it is. And I think this is literally just, we start with some crap weapon and a pair of pants and our 100 bucks. And advanced options, what was that again? Oh, that's if we want to manipulate the uh, the difficulty, which I don't want to do. All right, everybody, get pumped. Uh, thankfully, load time is not a big thing in this game unless you're reloading saves often. All right, so this should be taking me to the character builder, I believe, for making our original character. Uh, I am probably just going to be human male Greenlander for my main character. Uh, it's a really safe start there, like the Jack of all trades, you know, they're the base human class you would have in a typical RPG. They have a slight experience bonus to, what was it, laboring, farming, and science. Uh, either than that, they're very, very basic. All right. So our main character is, of course, MDB. We are human Greenlander. They're the most accepted race in the game. Pretty much anywhere you go, you'll be fine. Um, I mostly say that because there is a lot of racial tension in this game in certain areas, but pretty much everyone is more or less fine with the human male Greenlander. There's nowhere that you're going to get attacked on sight for being that, that you wouldn't get attacked for being other races. I'll put it that way. And all we'll do is... Uh, if you're wondering why everyone looks so horrible in this game, it's a very, it's, there's the same graphics engine from 2013, I believe. So things are looking a little bit rough. But if I remember right, the closest you can do to looking like me is probably something like this. I think it's like Beard 3. Yeah, something like that. I actually have a mohawk. You just can't see headset. The color is close enough. And we're almost never going to see this guy close up. So it really doesn't matter too much what he looks like. That might be the closest. I don't know. We'll go with this. And the body morphing doesn't matter. Let's get into the game. So we will be naming everybody that we get on a crew after the first names I see in the chat. Maybe I'll do priority for subscribers. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe like every other one will be priority to subscriber. We'll see. My sister is here catching her first stream. I hope she has fun. Hi, don't stomp full spider rose, sister. The fuck? All right. So when you're doing the Lone Wanderer start, you always start in the hub. If I don't start in the hub, it's going to be embarrassing. The hub. There we go. We started in the hub. The hub is this almost completely ruined city, as you can see. Uh, did the people spawn yet? Yes. Okay. So the hub is this almost entirely ruined city run by uh, Holy Land outlaws. Uh, the Holy Land is 
How do I describe them? Mega racists. They're really, really good at keeping their land free of bandits. However, they pretty much only like you if you're a Greenlander, which is basically white human. Um, they give Snyder marks at certain races, and other ones, they'll just attack you on site if you're not escorted by a, uh, by a Greenlander. So this town is a lot of ruined buildings, which we could buy and fix up, which is cool. There's a shinobi base up there, the Shinobi Thieves, which you can join their guild for uh, 10,000 bucks, I believe it is, which is pretty steep, but you can train there, which is nice, and you get some good allies there. And there's a bar here, which is open day and night. You can sell to them, you can buy food and basic medical supplies, so we're going to go there first. And you can usually pick up a free guy there. So we're going to go there first. Might be the littlest of frame drops you'll see occasionally, a loading bar. And actually, you won't see that loading bar. That's fine. The little frame... Yeah, come drink with me. That is Hobbs, who is pretty much the first guy you hire always because he's free. As to whether we want to hire him or not right now, um, he eats food, so we need to be able to afford food for him. <laughs> Starting out in Detroit, I see. Maria. Maria. I'm quite close to Detroit. I live in southern Ontario, Canada. Thanks for following, Gaijin. Welcome to the flock. Hope you enjoy the stream. Looking to buy? Yes. Okay, what's he selling? So what do we have right now? We have an iron club, which is a horrifically bad weapon. Actually, has a bonus to fighting indoors, probably because it's quite short, so it doesn't get caught on things. Yeah, both the blunt damage and the cutting damage on this is terrible. Attack and defense, negative one. So it's not particularly good on either. Detriment to attacking animals, probably because the short reach. It is literally just a rusted pipe. And then reg loin cloth, which gives us no armor value whatsoever. We may as well be naked, and we might even fight better if we didn't use our weapon right now. It's that bad. So, right off the bat, Got a, we got a thousand bucks. I should buy a little bit of food. You always want food on you. Could get a rice bowl. Uh, actually, I think it's um one of the best value in terms of nutrition for money. I believe this is dried uh, meat, but they're not selling any. So we will go with just a rice bowl. We'll buy that. They've got a few kind of rusted weapons here. But they're out of my price range. Definitely out of my price range. Yeah. Let's not worry about that for now. There's nothing else here that we really want right now. They have some basic building materials and iron plates and stuff, but not much. Nothing else we really want there then. They'll restock every day, I believe it is. There is a pacifier for the hounds there. Sometimes in bars you'll find pacifiers. Not the thing a baby sucks on. It's a person you can pay money to to make it so that if a tribe hates you or a faction hates you, they'll stop hating you. It's expensive, though. Uh, and I believe there is a few abandoned houses that we can go into in this place. So if I hold down Alt here, I can see uh, empty rum bottles, empty rum bottles, water jug, rum bottles. Some people who might fight me if I go in there. And I believe it's this building. Yeah, one of the only non-ruined buildings that I can actually loot. So I'm going to go over there. So I'm going to try and give a lot of tips. Can you take over some cities? Kind of. We could potentially buy almost every building in this city. The only problem with doing that... So I could we could basically own this city. The only problem is we can't build outside in an already made city. So we wouldn't be able to make like a refinery plant to turn stone into building material and stuff. However, you can build bases in this game. So we could, like, you know, a small shack, we could start building a base. Now, if it's blue outside, that means it's too close to a city. But if we were to go far enough outside the city, we could start building our own city. We will build an outpost or two over the course of the game. There's even a start you can pick where you start with a whole bunch of supplies for building a city, which is cool. And we're going to do that at some point. We're going to be building our own city at some point. But I want to start from basically nothing. This is the base start of the game. All right, is this unlocked? I think it is. All right, I'm going to close this behind me just so no one can see me. 
Uh, because I don't know if anything in here counts as stealing. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, because it's not red. Small emperor statue, right. And we're allowed to sleep in these beds for free, by the way. Yeah, owned by the Holy Nation Outlaws. So this is a place. Now that would be stealing if I were to pick that. Lock complexity, level 27. We could learn how to pick locks at the Shinobi's place, but we need 10,000 bucks to do that. Okay, well, first of all, what's in there? Oh, that's just a stool. I'm stupid. Wheat straw, straw flour. Let's pick up some of this stuff. Because we can always sell some of this stuff. Oop, can't pick that up. Oh, out of inventory space already, yeah. Grog, that actually sells quite well. Let's run back and forth and sell a few things. Let's make a little bit of money. And I think there might be a quest or two you can pick up in the default town. I don't remember. Some of the stuff is quite new to me just because I haven't played a ton on this version. I've mostly played in my own town on this version of the game. All right, so wheat straw, you can sell that. The straw flour. We have another rice bowl. We'll sell the fuel. So we got two rice bowls now, so we actually have a little bit of food. They auto-eat food as they get hungry. See the hunger bar down there. And let's get back to this little abandoned house. Why there's just grog in there, I don't know. Would you say the Holy Nation are Greenlander nationalists? Basically. They're also really big into the slave trade, but so is most factions in this game. What is this? Small Emperor statue. That's actually worth a bit. Yeah. And the bread is some decent food as well. The grog we're just going to sell, it's worth quite a bit. So I would like to join the Shinobi Ninja quite early. Um, we can trade up our stats quite a bit safely. So you can see this is a stat sheet right here. There's all kinds of stats in the game. Most of them you'd upgrade how you'd think, you know. Farming is by farming. Laboring is by doing labor. Stuff like that. The combat stats are a little bit more complicated. Okay, let's sell those. Okay, so we're up to 2,399 cats right now. Go martial arts. Martial arts is very cool. Um, I don't know if I will go martial arts on my main character, though. We'll see. We'll be getting more people before you know it. The pacifier guide for a troublemaker. So this is a list of where a bunch of pacifiers in the world are. Uh, I could always come back and get that later if I need to. What I do want to buy is a basic first aid kit so that I can tend to my wounds if I get hurt. Um, I don't think I need anything else here right now. So who's everyone I can talk to in here? Heft, Hobbs, uh, Heft is someone I can hire, I believe. Some drunk, drunk thug, Molly, that's probably someone I can hire. T thug, thug, pacifier. Thugs I could pick fights with, but I think all three thugs would join in. And it looks like they're carrying swords. I don't want to be left for dead in the middle of the street right now. Even though getting left for dead is not necessarily always bad. As long as you can get back up, uh, you get toughness by getting the shit kicked out of you. But Maria. you know, Maria, thanks for following, um, Peter. Welcome to the Flock, hope you enjoyed the stream. Ideally, you want to get beaten up with blunt weapons, because then you're going to have an easier time getting back up, because you're probably not going to bleed out while you're down. That or you want a friend who might be able to, you know, heal you up. What I might do is get Hobbs early. Just because he's free. He's a Scorchlander, I believe, isn't he? Yeah. Scorchlanders excel at combat. They're bad at labor. And they tend to get a lot of racial remarks towards them when going in Holy Land lands, which we're not in, thankfully. Uh, I think the Holy Lands are the only place that particularly single out Scorchlanders. For the most part, people don't care. Um, do I want Hobbs right now? I think I do. We'll get Hobbs. <clears throat> so he's, he's one of the free people you can get. It's always nice when you can get a free guy, because it's not super common. I have a request. If I get in, can you make it so I lose an arm and, uh, or two and give you me some robotic arms? I can't make any promises. That's right. Come sit with me. Have a drink. Hey, have you ever heard the story of the Wailing Banshee? No, what's it about? Well, legend has it that it nests deep, deep into the forest. They say it preys on lost, lost travelers, feeding on their souls and making rotten loincloths out of their neck skins. Apparently, survivors are told that it has a pungent potato aura and it has eyes that resemble surprised truffles. 
there was one particularly handsome man warrior that once very nearly slayed the beast, but he choked on a boiling potato two and a half weeks ago. That sounds amazing. How do I find it? If I knew that, I would, I would have tracked it down myself. But if you're going to head out in search of it, you must take me with you. Call it an old man's dying last wish. You're dying? What's wrong with you? Aren't we all slowly dying in this uh, relentless dark world? Yes, and this dying man's wishes is to witness that diabolical creature with my own two eyes. They say that if you lick one of its pinky toes, then you'll gain the sweet... You'll gain the power of sweet, balmy immortality. Oh, and the true that true love smooch will transform the beast into a glorious man-cherub whom will grant you all of the, deep, the deepest munchies. It's hard to read this guy's dialogue. That's right, wise words. Join with me, you will find it together. There we go, we got Hobbs. Hobbs is just an insane old man. All right, so what did he start with? Uh, he's actually not armed, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, claw shirt doesn't defend him. Sneaky chain. Okay, half pants with uh, chain mail in it. Sewn into it. Now, it does lower his stealth effect because it's heavy. It's very heavy, actually. But mm, he's a bit less likely to get cut on the legs, which is nice. Plated long boots. Nice sleeveless long coat. Gives him a little dodge skill martial arts bonus. If he's got a martial arts bonus, I might have him do martial arts, although martial arts is hard to train in the early days. And a straw hat. A little bit of acid protection against acid rain. Not much, though. Sounds like a RimWorld sculpture description. It kind of does, doesn't it? <clears throat> he has skill in what? Uh, the tiniest bit in a lot of things. He's better at combat than me. Yeah, negative skill in dodge. Interesting. Yeah, okay. He's not particularly good at anything right now, so I'll put them to uh, moving as a squad. And we will talk to Heft and Molly, but I'm guessing they're going to ask for money. Looking to band together? Uh, 3,000 cats. No thanks. Don't have that kind of money. Everyone underrates the cook, but you know what? Without a good cook, you'll be shitting sideways for the rest of your days. Part of a swordsman's training, a science's re scientist's research, part of all of it is great food. How can you improve without fuel to nourish a mind and body? It is nice having a good cook. So there you go. Hire me. How much? 6,000 cats. Can't afford it. Sorry. Uh, we will hire you another day. So Hobbs is... The, the characters that are free never take you to the thing where you can rename them, so I can't actually rename Hobbs. Hobbs is always Hobbs. All right. So we need 8,000 more cats if we want to join the Shinobi's Guild right now. Now, one way we could do this is there's a copper mine right there, and copper is worth quite a bit. So we could put the game on the top speed, and just mine copper over and over and sell it to this barn till we have the money. And it's really boring, and that's usually what new players do in this game. I think we want to do something fun for the stream, though. Let's explore. Yeah, it's characters who are unique. Yes. Uh, it's not for characters who are free, it's characters who are unique. Correct. And uh, although free characters are usually unique characters. Um, so we already know where the hub is and Squint is, which, or Squin is, rather, which is in the Shek Kingdom, I believe. Do you plan on building your own city? Yes, at some point. Um, hmm. Uh, let's explore a bit. We're gonna wander a little bit and just explore the world. That's a big part of this game. Having fun exploring. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, we need to really keep an eye out. And this is something that I highly, highly, highly recommend. Oh, there's like a shack out there. Well, let's see what that shack is. This is something I highly recommend for anyone playing. Something you got to get used to. Don't just like lock onto your guy and then fast forward like crazy. Zoom out a lot. Set your draw distance and your options really high. You know, I've got my view distance really high. I've got my NPC draw distance 
at max, which is important. Look around a lot. You gotta be able to see those guys coming. Like, I see movement in the distance. Those are escaped servants. Right there. I don't think they would get hostile if we got close. Hope not, at least. We'll be careful just in case. I love this community. I'm happy you love the community. All right, let's keep moving. F2 through 4, by the way, are different game speeds, whereas uh, space bar is to pause. Any idea where you might build? I'm not sure yet. Yes, every, every region is its own politics, its own factions. Whether you pay tax or not depends on where you are. Um, what kind of resources you can more easily get there. A lot of things. It really matters what places you settle in. Yes, and healing people. Yes, that's a good that's a good bit of advice there. Helps with the reputation of other factions if you help heal them. Okay, they're they're leaving. I'm gonna just hit sneak real quick. I should actually hotkey sneak, shouldn't I? Probably. Be a good hotkey for that. Is there anything keyed to C? Let me check. C is right character sheet, of course. How about V? Is there anything on V? Doesn't look like it. Nothing's on V. Okay. Uh, toggle stealth mode. There we go. That is very useful. Like the swampy area? Yeah, swampy areas can be pretty fun. Because you can you can make uh, hemp easily. Although you can hemp, make hemp anywhere, as far as I remember. It's one of the more resilient crops, but it works out best in... Um... Is this add to my map? In, oh, Rebel Base. Okay, interesting. Uh, it's very small on the map, evidently. Let's go in. New customer. Okay, is this just a regular old bar? Okay, seems like a regular bar. Uh, to finish my thought real quick. Um, I am ambiguous in Amphibian. Awesome to see you here. Uh, he is a YouTuber. He invited me once to a big challenge of um, Project Zomboy, and I felt bad that I couldn't do it. I was so busy at the time. Then I'm not amazing at the game. But uh, he does a lot of fun stuff on his channel. Go check him out. He, he's mostly known for his Project Zomboid stuff, but I saw he was also doing Seven Days to Die, which is a game that I've been meaning to give a go for a long time. Right, so first of all, I actually want to buy another first aid kit because I forgot to get one for Hobbs, and it's a good idea that everybody has at least a little bit. So that, you know... You can pass it around. Dried meat has cheap, good nutrition. We'll buy a little bit of dried meat. Okay. Yeah, stores like you more the more you buy and sell from them, which is very cool. Still for that rap battle. I don't know why so many people asked us to rap battle. I have no idea why. I'm going to have to learn how to rap one day. Okay. Wanted bug master. Notorious criminal. The notorious criminal bugmaster, wanted for banditry, raiding, mass murder, and cannibalism and genocide. Extremely dan dangerous attacks on site. Appears to control an army of spiders. Oh, he probably lives in the spider tower. I know that's a place. Okay. His residence is the crater of Iraq, southwest of the Stein Desert and Spider Plains. That's a dangerous place. Also in possession of a large amount of treasure. Wow. Nice. So he's worth 100,000 alive. Half that dead. That's a lot of money, but there's no way we'd be able to pull that off this early. No way. Hmm. Are there firearms in this game? Closest is crossbows. The I know these kind of look like LMGs. They're actually crossbows at an awkward angle. These are spring bats. We've got toothpicks there, which are like really small crossbows. Hmm. I don't think we need to buy anything else there. We can't afford much. Doesn't look like anyone else is here to hire or potentially get quests from. Yeah, none of these people want to talk when we hover over them. And anything in here would be stealing, and I don't want to get caught stealing right now. These guys would kick the shit out of us. Okay, let's just hover around a little. Do I see anything particularly interesting? Actually, you know what? I should turn up. I should turn up objects view range. 
turn up to something like that to see what happens. Just in case, you know, a house were to pop up. Not seeing any? Okay. Let's wander along the paths a little bit. I want to explore. So, oh, what's that? Those are still those escaped servants. I don't think they'll be hostile to us, but let's go off the beaten path a little bit and be safe. Is it post-apocalyptic? I don't know if it's post-apocalyptic or just another world. Mines down there, is that, uh, that's copper, okay. Hmm. I'm mostly trying to keep an eye out for movement. You know what I wouldn't mind? If we see, like, a... Maybe a lone bone dog or something. I could kill it. It's a path up through those mountains. I could kill, like, a lone bone dog. Sell the meat. And more than pay for the medical. Hold on, what's that? Those are hungry bandits. They would knock us out probably wound us uh, quite a bit because they do use knives and uh, steal our food. Right, it is post-apocalyptic because there's there's tech from before the apocalypse. I forgot about that. Ancient technology is the most advanced. Very low draw distance and letting whatever danger happens happen. You'd probably die pretty fast. This game rewards being very attentive. I want to know what's over here. What direction are we going? Okay. We're going to turn up the game speed a bit. I'm a little worried about, like, people up here, me not seeing them. I'm just trying to make sure I get all the angles. Oh, it's loading a new zone. Yep. Yep, there's a new zone coming up. For sure. You can see the, the landscape changing over there. Let's see what it is. I like the atmospheric music. It's pretty cool. Is there fog of war? Not exactly, but you can't go too far away. Discovered stack. That's a city, isn't it? Yeah, we can see stack in the distance. Stack, isn't it the capital for something? Is that the Holy Land's capital? What's this? Is there something up on this mountain? Hold on me. I don't know. I don't know what that's an icon for. I don't see anything here that stands out. Hmm. That's a holy nation city. Right. Hobbs should be okay. The holy nation doesn't like Scorchlanders very much. Um, but he's escorted by me. Rock, so it's just a land. It's just a landmark, I guess. Okay. Maybe there's a quest there at some point. Um, yeah, they don't like Scorchlanders much, but if they're being escorted by a Greenlander, I should be okay. Hive Village. Oh, we see a Hive Village in the distance. I wouldn't mind going there. That would be outside of Holy Land's territory. The Hive aren't allowed in Holy Land's territory. They only take them as, as religious slaves, I believe. I wouldn't mind going to Hive Lands. What is that? Oh, that thing is almost definitely aggressive, isn't it? Hold on. Oh, is that is that acid rain or is it just red rain? We're not getting hurt. That's not acid rain, okay. Hold on, what is that thing? It's like a gorilla. What's that in the distance? Escaped servants, holy land outlaws. Okay. I don't think that's dangerous. No wonder they call this place Vane. It's like blood red rain. And it's it's down the vein is uh, where they live. Okay. I don't know if I should be here. Getting major CK2 vibes? Really? Why? Why CK2? The hivers seem harmless enough, but don't let that fool you. Those guys are plain sneaky, yeah. 